What's up YouTube, this is Spool and today I'm bringing you a video where I'm going to help you get diamond camo for the shotguns quickly in Call of Duty World War II. If you wanted tips for a specific shotgun, timestamps will be in the description below, so feel free to skip ahead to whichever shotgun you'd like. I personally really don't like using shotguns, so at times I found this to be a little frustrating, but I did get it done rather quickly. For all the shotguns, I did find it hard to get consistent one-shot one kills in core, which is needed for the first 8 camo challenges, so I do recommend playing hardcore for all of those. Most of the time I played Hardcore Domination, it is easy to predict people's paths, for instance they're going to the flags, and it is easy to rack up bloodthirsty medals waiting for them. I also found that Domination offered a lot of chances for double kills, and I always got the challenge done within a game or two. The longest part for me was honestly just getting the 50 kills both with and without Expeditionary Division. For all the shotguns, the tips for the 50 kills are the same, so I'm just going to get those out of the way first. I recommend obviously with Expeditionary Division to use the incendiary shells, and not to forget about them. When I first started using shotguns, I always forgot about them, and that extra damage can save you and ensure you get that kill. For the 50 kills without Expeditionary Division, I would also recommend using either the Airborne or the Mountain Division. The extra movement speed from Airborne and the invisibility from UAV and silent movement from Mountain is very useful in keeping you alive and getting those bloodthirsties, or just getting kills in general. The payback medals are also the same for the shotguns. For those, if you lock down one area, you will eventually die. People often push for flags and don't check for people waiting, so if someone kills you, you wait for them, and it's a free payback because they won't find you waiting for them. Yeah, you feel dirty, but take a shower and everything will be okay. Now without wasting any more time, we're going to jump into the shotgun. So I'm going to tell you what shotgun we're working on, and then I'm going to tell you how long it took me to get that shotgun gold. So first up, we have the combat shotgun. This took me two hours and five minutes. The attachments I used were for the most part rapid fire and advanced rifling. Advanced rifling makes it so your bullets travel farther. I also found that extended mags was useful for this gun. Now to help you get double kills, I'd recommend not using steady aim. This may sound weird, but when you use steady aim, you are condensing your spread. And since you have to pump between shots, if you don't get multiple kills with multiple people in front of you, you're probably gonna die because they can kill you while you're pumping. Not having steady aim on means the spread will be wider, so you're more likely to hit both people. For bloodthirsties, if you do this in hardcore, play very passive. Let people come to you, play your life, and kill people when you get the chance. I have noticed that in hardcore people stick together better, so make sure if somebody runs in front of you, make sure they're alone and that their friend isn't right behind them. Because you'll kill that person and then their teammate will take you out. Wait till both of them come by and then get a free double and two more kills for your bloodthirsty. Next up we have the M30 Luftwaffe Drilling. This took me 2 hours and 19 minutes. For the attachments, I took rapid fire and advanced rifling. Feel free to take steady aim instead of rapid fire. Rapid fire just makes it so you can shoot your second shot faster, but it does shoot before the gun re-centers, so be ready to adjust your aim for that. Now jumping into double kills, this gun only has two shots. It is a double barrel, and honestly, that makes it a huge pain. The biggest thing for this gun is before you shoot your second shot, to make sure it comes back to the center of your screen especially if you're using rapid fire, either that or adjust your aim. There's nothing that sucks more than missing out on a double kill or dying because you shoot your second shot too fast. For the bloodthirsties, this gun I found to be very important with positioning. This gun also, along with the sawed off, is very unforgiving. If you take your time between shots and hit the people in front of you, it's great, but the problem is that it takes what feels like a year to reload your next two bullets. When you hit your first two kills, I would back up, reload, and then push up again, and then repeat, and that's how I got my bloodthirsties. It worked out well for me. I hope it works out well for you. The guns are honestly a huge pain and I absolutely hated it, but you just got to play smart and play well. Next up, we have the toggle shotgun at one hour and 55 minutes. In my opinion, this one is probably tied for the best shotgun along with the combat shotgun. This one has a consistent feeling to it while the combat shotgun has a more consistent one shot. Now onto the attachments. Rapid fire and advanced rifling are mostly what I used. You could also use extended mags, which gives you 10 shots with this gun instead of 7. If you find yourself getting a lot of hit markers though, I would recommend using steady aim. And I do think that rapid fire is 100% necessary for this gun. For getting the double kills, I found that using cover is key. It takes even sometimes in hardcore 2 shots to kill somebody. So to get double kills, make sure you're behind cover, push an objective, and just spray the trigger as fast as you can. Trust me, you'll get the double kills. Flanking also works pretty well. For the bloodthirsties, remember again that using cover is key. You have a good amount of ammo, so don't worry about running out of ammo too much, as long as you're reloading when it's safe. And use cover when you see somebody and just spam the trigger. They will die. Also, don't forget to use the incendiary shells when you're using expeditionary, because you'll kill them and you need that damage. Last but not least, we have the sawed-off shotgun coming in at 2 hours and 17 minutes. 
The attachments I would recommend would be rapid fire and advanced rifling. You could also take steady aim for this, which is not, I don't think, completely necessary, but it's not a bad option. The gun has a crazy hip fire, like the spread is absolutely crazy. I found it sometimes rather hard to consistently one-shot people because of that, which can make it harder to get consistent double kills. To get the double kills though, I would put on steady aim, which would help a lot. Uh, you still will have to throw out the second shot sometimes to finish off the first guy, so try to line up that collateral the best you can when you're shooting and moving around and strafing and everything, but you should have a better time getting the double kills with steady aim. For the bloodthirsties, this gun, as I just said, was sometimes inconsistent with one-shotting people. Because of this, I played pretty slowly to make sure I got the bloodthirsties. I would kill someone, push up a little, kill them again, and then push up a little more. And then this worked, and I got my bloodthirsties within a game or two. It went rather quickly. Just remember, play your life and get close for those one-shots with the gun. Again, just like with the M30, whatever that stupid other double barrel gun is, you're going to feel dirty using this gun and kind of playing slow, but it works really well, and you'll get those bloodthirsties done really quick. Take a shower afterwards, and you'll feel a whole lot better. That's it for the video, though. I hope it helps you guys get diamond. If it does, please drop a like on the video and let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have any tips to get diamond with the shotguns that I didn't mention, please leave them in the comments below to help out as well. If you're trying to get diamond for snipers as well, please check out my other video, and I am sure that it will help you out too. If you guys want to see more of my videos as well, feel free to subscribe and press that bell so you know every time I upload a new video. I'm planning to do another video like this for every gun category. Let me know which one you would like to see next, assault rifles, SMGs, LMGs, pistols, or that pesky old shovel. Anyways, till next time, see ya!